happy. We're happy with our, our shootout, obviously. Um, with this format, the shootout was super important and and we had that as a as a goal. So we're really happy with that and and happy with where we're sitting. I think we're feeling pretty good now. It's uh we played a lot of games in a you know short period of time, so it's kind of uh, feeling good. And I mean, the ice is ice has been really good for the, during the doubles, and uh, I think our confidence is high right now. Like it's kind of where we'd like it to be. And the only the only thing is, we've there's probably you know the twelve other playoff teams are probably feeling the same way. So uh, we have to play well. And I think just getting that first round by is really huge because um, there's no easy games at all now in the playoffs. Like everybody's going to be you know top notch. I think it's it's a little bit different it's just when you're only playing eight ends and you're only really using um a few certain paths uh you don't have 10 minute practices and, and all that stuff so um i think they can just tune the ice up a little bit better um like it's been next to perfect here this week not that it was bad for the briar the scotties but it, t it takes so much uh so many ends and you're out there for three and a half hours during the briar scotties it just breaks down a little bit so I think, you know, if we keep placing our draws in good spots, I think that's kind of the, the name of mixed doubles. So get a handle for our speed and, and, um, you know, get those angles going good. And, um, every team we play is going to be a good team. So, um, yeah, if we can bring our a game for, for the next few. It's like four games, we're going to have to probably curl like 85, 90%. And and then if somebody out curls us, so be it. But I think if we, we just focus on our own game, play well, set the angles up, um, you know, we're, we're in a good, good spot. I mean, yeah, it was, it was a fun game. It was a great game. Uh, maybe like, yeah, we made some great shots, uh, but we actually struggled a little bit with the draw weight today um, and the rocks because we actually didn't practice uh, yesterday to match the rocks. But yeah, it was a good game. And like playing these guys, it was... It was so fun and we had a couple of laughs and uh, and yeah, it was a great game. We were uh, in control, but hey, the fun is more important, right? Than controlling the game. So we had a lot of fun uh, today. It, it was, uh, we, we had a fun week, obviously. Uh, we have two uh, tough losses against two great teams to, uh, that were a little stressful, but tried to do the best of it and, you know, come back after the two losses for this game today. Um, I mean, we knew we were pretty much out already, but we, so we just tried to have a good performance and play as well as we can have as much fun as possible. And I think, I guess we accomplished that. So yeah, it was a good week. We, a positive record is always great. Yeah. So I was, but I mean, I never, since, since losing yesterday's game, I think we were pretty much out already. We needed some sort of a miracle to make it through. We needed all sorts of teams to start losing and go our way. And we needed some some teams to miss the house on the shootouts. And so, yeah, we were pretty much out and we knew that already. So, but yeah, I mean, I had my top eight uh, draw to the button weight, it seems, all week. So, <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Uh... Um, I was not not only proud to represent Quebec and do well, but I was really proud to play with my my whole team and to play with Felix, right? Um, it's such a great experience and we don't have a lot of experience in mixed doubles, you know, like it's actually our third event um, this week and it's a national event, so it's, it's pretty amazing. Um, and yeah, we, we actually learned about strategy and angles and, and um, even for myself, like it was actually nice to... Um, to play um, the middle rocks because um, like I'm, I'm not used to play against or um, uh, to compare myself with, with men's, you know, and it was just so nice to actually be there and, and, and play against um, amazing guys and amazing girls. So it was, it was a lot of fun and we enjoyed it and we're really proud uh, of, uh, of our week and uh, proud for the Scotties and Briar. I think she's bang on on this uh, through the Scotties, the Briar, and now the mixed doubles. The two of us for our respective teams and mixed doubles have actually got a positive record, which has been a, a fair amount of time since we've since Quebec had that. So, so obviously it's a step in the right direction, and we're hoping that uh, we can get more more people to curl and then they make uh, make the the pool of players in Quebec a little stronger over over time. So yeah, it's good. Uh, we had a, a, a great three weeks from my part has been here for three weeks. So yeah, it's been great.
En fait, on, est, on espère. Est-ce qu'on est qu sait comment, comment ça va influencer, en fait, euh, les gens à vouloir venir jouer? Euh, J'en ai aucune idée. Euh, moi, je croise les doigts et j'espère vraiment que les gens vont, vont avoir pris goût parce que c'est un beau sport. C'est vraiment le fun de, de jouer au curling. C'est le fun de. C'est un sport avec beaucoup de communication. Puis c'est ça qui est le fun aussi. C'est de. On parle entre nous, on, on peut se, se parler de tout et de rien des fois sur la glace pour, pour avoir du plaisir. Puis, euh, je pense vraiment que c'est ce côté-là qu'on voulait montrer euh, aux gens, que c'est un, un sport aussi très familial. Euh, fait on espère que, que les gens vont prendre goût puis on espère qu'on qu a donné le goût aux gens aussi de faire des tournois puis d'aller ailleurs. Puis de, euh, on nous, c'est juste ça qu'on veut, c'est promouvoir notre sport euh, au Québec, puis d'avoir beaucoup de compétitions, puis faire des tournois, etc. Donc, on espère. Je ne sais pas si tu veux rajouter quelque chose. Non, je pense que c'est ça. Je pense que le, peut-être les performances peuvent aider euh, à augmenter le nombre de joueurs qui vont rentrer dans les clubs, qui vont jouer. Puis je pense que le Québec en a besoin présentement. On a besoin d'un peu d'aide, puis je pense que c'est des, des performances comme ça, puis un petit peu une attention médiatique qui est plus élevée qu que normale qui va aider à, la, à long terme, puis on espère, que ça, on espère toujours que ça va aider le, le, le curling au complet. Yeah, the barbell could be pretty high today as well, yeah, obviously. Tiny. We're three, we're three, right? We got the coach as well, so we're three. Um, maybe we'll buy uh, a few rounds for a few people as well. So yeah, I don't know if we'll make it as high as the briar. Uh, if we ever do, I guess it was a good night. We started off pretty well. Um, I, I like when I start off with good draw weight and just makes me feel comfortable um, for making that first shot, getting that one in there. Um, for, for me, myself, I thought that was probably one of my better games this week. But we, yeah, we came out pretty strong and pretty comfortable. For sure, for sure. Can't, can't ask for anything more just to be able to make, make the playoffs and now really step up our game and see what can happen. That's, that's close in. <laughs> I had to tell him a couple of times last night to get off his phone and stop <laughs> looking at it because you know, I'm just trying to figure some stuff out, you know, <laughs> even though we control our own destiny. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the win makes it easy, but a loss would have made it really confusing. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 100 percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At first, it was just yeah, nice to be back on the on the ice in a competitive stage. And uh, yeah, like our first game this week was our very first competitive game all season so yeah it was nice to be back out and then uh but now it's crunch time and really give it our all yeah i think so i think we're feeling pretty comfortable out there and we're just ready to finish off the second half and hopefully come out with a pretty good pretty good end uh, i think just kind of connecting with the ice early off um Keep on with that curl. There was decent curl out there today, um, but we caught on to it pretty quick and just make sure we got our weight down and we're throwing it well. Uh, I, I think our game's at a pretty good spot right now. Like, just I think the main thing for us is if we pick on pick up on the ice right away, we'll have a, a solid game. Yeah, and just picking up those key shots uh, right away and just making sure we're kind of locking them nicely in there and. See how it goes. I would think so. We both know how we how we throw and how what how much ice we need to take. Colton knows. Um, I always obviously have a little bit of less rotation, so he knows how much to give me, and I throw a little bit differently than others. But I think we just playing together throughout each season. It just helps us a lot coming forward. Um, well, since I had fallen on a hit uh, in the sixth end. And I was uh, thinking, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> so that was the biggest thing that I was trying to get through my head. But just try to, you know, let it go close to the broom and and hope that it, you know, goes where it's supposed to be. And Wayne calls the line, and I can get up and sweep it. Uh, well, it's good to end on a with a, a winning note. Makes you want to come back again, I guess. <laughs> uh, we were one shot here or there every other game, and I mean, I think all week I had back eight, back twelve weight, so uh, that doesn't help mid doubles. <laughs> Now, whether Greg last night extended the length of the sheet three feet and I had draw weight today, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, you know, ending on a, ending on ending on a win is is is, a, is good. Um, well, I think we've been at the game you know long enough, and um, we 
get up for games playing against the top players. Uh, this week we were a little rusty and it was a little tough to get on to, you know, get some feel back with playing one game a day. So we kind of had a hard time getting into a groove. I missed a couple of shots early in the week that could have put wins on the board. So it could have been a little bit different story, but um, we definitely try, um, you know, we go out with the same mentality when we're playing, you know, the Briar Olympic champs as we do as, you know, we're playing anyone. You got to go out and mix doubles is all about making shots. So if you can go out and make more shots than the other team, you're probably going to come out on top. Uh, you still got to, no angles and, and make shots and and put the put the rock in the right spot or else it's not going to go your way. Kim, anything, any thoughts on that? Yeah, I think it's always been a pretty aggressive game. Um, even from the get go, um, I went from throwing with the stabilizer to throwing with my broom so I could get up and sweep. So that's kind of changed um, from when we first started playing. But I think the way we play the game has always the same um, we're more of a touch top like half back line uh, board uh, type team as much as you know we don't play the big weight shots so I think the way we've played the game has stayed the same it's just um, you know some of the rules and little nuances have changed over it but pretty much I think we've played it similar to when we started in 2013 I think yeah. well we're definitely super thankful for everything that curling Canada has done and all the partners to put on such an event. Um, we were pretty disappointed getting the call a couple of days before last year's Canadians was canceled. So it was nice to be able to come out and compete. And, uh, you know, we weren't concerned at all uh, coming into, we knew we would be safe. And so everything's done a great job. And, you know, something we can tell the grandkids, we curled in the bubble back in <laughs> 2021. <laughs> so uh, Wayne, do you have any, any thoughts on the bubble? Uh, I just hope this never happens again. Yeah. <laughs>